एंड इन टूडे वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू प्रूव कोर्सेस इंटीग्रल फॉर्मूला और थ्योरम ओके लेट सी द स्टेटमेंट इफ एफ जेड इज रेग्युलर और एनालिटिक विद इन एंड ऑन अ क्लोज कर्व सी एंड जेड इज इक्वल्स टू ए बी अ पॉइंट विद इन सी देन एफ ऑफ ए इज इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉन टू पाई आई इंटीग्रल ओवर सी एफ ऑफ जेड अपॉन जेड माइनस ए डी जेड ओके सो हियर आई जस्ट मेड द क्लोज कर्व सी as you see the diagram i just made the closed curve c uh, under the closed curve c i just made a small circle that is gamma with radius with center a and there is a, a part p this part is called p and let's start the proof without wasting any time let f of z is analytic within and on a closed curve or contour capital c and a is any interior point any interior point within c okay as you see a is an interior point under the closed contour c now let us consider a function now let us consider a function phi z is equals to f of z upon z minus a give it equation 1 okay again consider let us consider a A small circle gamma about center z is equals to a of small radius rho such that this circle, if you know the equation of circle in complex, this is it. so this is z minus a a is the center and rho is the radius does not intersect does not intersect the curve c as you see this curve and this curve is not intersecting each other and there is also a loop and there is also a loop now let us join capital c and gamma by a cross cut joint at t i already constructed the closed contour and gamma inside it and there is a cross cut p now by using by cushy integral theorem we can write integral over c minus gamma phi of z dz is equals to 0 i also uploaded the video of cauchy's theorem from complex analysis you may check my description box for the link from where i have written this this imply integral over c phi z dz minus integral over gamma phi z dz is equals to 0 so we can write it as phi z we assume the function that f of z z minus a dz is equals to this is again phi z we put the value f of z z minus a dz now multiplying by 2 1 upon 2 pi i on both side we get the equation like this we are going to consider it as equation 2 equation 2 now we are going to solve the integral this side right hand side 1 upon 2 pi i integral over gamma f of z upon z minus a dz just see carefully i just going to put f of a on numerator 
and z minus a is as it is i am going to split it into two integral that is f of z minus f a upon z minus a dz plus 1 upon 2 pi i integral over gamma f of a z minus a dz just con just consider it integral 1 and consider this equation integral 2 you may also write it as i1 i2 okay now let z minus a is equals to rho e i theta then dz is equals to i rho e i theta d theta okay we are going to use this equation in integration since f of z is continuous at z is equals to a we already know that the function f z is continuous at z is equals to a which is interior point within c for any epsilon greater than zero there exists this is a symbol for there exists a delta greater than zero such that mod of f z minus f of a is less than epsilon for mod of z minus a less than delta give it equation 4 so this is the definition of continuous function for complex now condition is satisfied not for only point a it is satisfied for all the point inside gamma and gamma is just small circle inside c with center a and radius rho gamma now we are putting the modular sign mod i1 is equals to as we considered the integral i1 this we are going to solve this equation z minus a dz and modulus sign now we are going to put the value of gamma is from 0 to 2 pi because it is a complete circle gamma is a complete circle so it runs from 0 to 2 pi fz minus f is z minus a is considered it as rho e i theta and dz is equals to i rho e i theta d theta okay now we cancel so we get this equation is less than is equals to 1 upon 2 pi 0 to 2 pi and we i am going to apply the modulus inside the integral so for this we are going to put less than sign here d theta okay and this is less than 1 upon 2 pi 0 to 2 pi and this is less than this is less than epsilon so this is going to be written as epsilon d theta again by solving we get 1 upon 2 pi this is get solved so we get 2 pi epsilon this is cancelled this is equals to epsilon tending to 0 since epsilon is arbitrary small quantity small quantity and does not depend upon delta therefore i1 is equals to 0 as epsilon tends to 0 as z tends to a so integral i1 is equals to 0 now we are going to solve for integral i2 let's see i2 is equals to 1 upon 2 pi i integral over gamma f of a z minus a dz i am going to solve it 1 upon 2 pi a just f of a is keep outside this integral put dz i rho e i theta d theta and z minus a is equals to rho 
E I theta cancel I cancel so this will become f of a 2 pi and this will become 0 to 2 pi d theta this is 0 to 2 pi so this can be written as f of a 2 pi upon 2 pi this is cancelled this will become f of a give it equation 5 now from equation 2 and 5 we get 1 upon 2 pi i integral over gamma f of z z minus a dz is equals to i1 plus i2 this i1 becomes 0 and i2 is equals to f of a so this can be written as can be written as f of a is equals to 1 upon 2 pi i integral f of z z minus a dz which is the proof for Cauchy integral formula. I hope guys this video is informative for you. If you like the video please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and suggest more topics and theorem to be proved in coming video and hit the bell icon for further notifications. Thanks for watching my videos.